just scenes. You have seen in the newspapers and the TV news programs are not what you imagined Japan to be. No skyscrapers, no designer boutiques, no fancy, elegant restaurants like can be seen in Tokyo or any other big cities. This area is much more rural area. The cities are isolated towns, huddled along the coast of the Pacific. The main industries in the Tohoku area are fishing, agriculture, and uh, small and mid-sized industries. And the people there are quite sincere and hard-working like just everybody in the Midwest of the United States. I know Wayne State University has been a long time friend of our office and of course Japan. From a wonderful language program to art exhibits, lectures, publications, the visiting judge program and many more. And today, again, you continue to demonstrate the depths of your friendship with this ceremony and with this gathering. So, in my conclusion, let me offer my deepest gratitude from my bottom of my heart. Thank you very much. Immediately, I thought about my family and friends, especially worried about my brother because he works in a nuclear plant and electric engineer in Aomori Prefecture along the Pacific Coastal Line. I was relieved when I talked to him a couple of days later and knew that he was doing okay. However, the earthquake and tsunami was caused extensive and severe damage in the area, leaving thousands of people confirmed dead and injured or missing, and millions of more affected by by lack of food, water, electricity, and transportation. They also have caused a cascade of health and safety problems for survivors, including possible exposure to radiation from Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. But all Japanese people know that we are not alone. And since the natural disaster occurred, Many people of many countries have been very supportive for Japan. So today, I am here to tell you all in the Wayne State community that I really appreciate this relief effort project and especially grateful to see so many people helping and hoping in this time of great need. I was born and raised in Sendai, uh, which is the heart of the earthquake area. Although I am living in Michigan right now, uh, this disaster breaks my heart. Many of my friends, family, lived in Minami Sanriku, where half of town people are dead or missing due to the 40 feet massive tsunami exceeding 20 foot barrier designed to protect them. It was very fortunate that all of my family members survived tsunami, but uh, nearly 300,000 people are still living in the shelters. As you can see the image on the news and the internet, more help is definitely needed. I am sure that country of Japan and the people in Japan will help you if your country suffers from the major disaster. I will continue to help children with epileptic seizures who visit our hospital. This time, people in Japan really need your help. 